Hey guys, CR Classics here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you a walk around of my 1979 Lotus Esprit S2. Feels very weird saying that, um, but it's a dream that's come true somehow. <laughs> But before we crack on with that, I just want to show you guys the amazing thing that you can see in the background is this lovely cover that's a bit of a Christmas present from me to the car um, to keep it nice and warm, even though it's in a garage. Um, it'll just give it that little bit more protection from dust and knocks and bangs and keep it nice and warm in these cold months. From Specialized Covers, who provided two covers for the last car and one for the car before that, I believe. Um, so this one is one of their indoor prestige plus covers as you can see it's got a few little extras on it like these little badges here which they've done beautifully and i'm sure you'll agree the car looks stunning i'm sure you'll agree as you can see it's a fully tailored cover which still keeps those lovely shijario lines of the car how they get these things to fit so well, these little mirror pockets, is beyond me. And they've got this S2 logo, as I'll show you later on this video, is in exactly the right place um, that it should be on the car. So they've really got that spot on. You've got these lovely lines to just keep that shape of the car. But I think it looks absolutely stunning. So I just thought I'd share with you guys what it looks like because um, I know a few of you have been asking if I'll be getting one and um, obviously this answers that question so a massive shout out to Specialized for getting me this cover in such a short time period as well um, it came ooh, probably a, a, a day or so ago now um, in a really busy Christmas period but um, they made a fully tailor-made cover and they can do so for your cars as well um, and it, it could be with you in a, in a couple of weeks but let's crack on with the rest of this video as I know you guys are really excited to see a bit more of the car. I'll do a separate video with a bit more detail about this cover. If you guys would like it, please let me know. Um, but let's crack on with the walk around. So guys, here we go, covers off. I'm sure you'll agree she is looking very golden today indeed and that is due to a certain product which I will be doing a separate video on, a whole detailing video um, on the first time I detailed this car. Um, and how we got on and how it's got to looking so gold as it was in a little bit of a state when we picked it up but um, it sure is looking fine now so this is a 1979 Lotus Esprit S2 so it's the second one um, after the famous S1 Esprit that was featured in a certain James Bond film this is the one just after that with a few little changes to it now, I'm not an expert on it, but I'm learning as I'm going. So it had a little few um, extras um, to help the car with cooling. Um, as the first one developed a few problems and there wasn't enough air getting to the engine. Um, so there are a few little problems there, which this one has solved. Um, this one has got different wheels on it, which, I mean, this, this car is very original. That's the reason I bought it. Um, but these wheels, I'm sure you'll agree, look absolutely stunning slightly deeper on the back so that you bigger wheels there you go now as far as the only things that aren't original on this car um, as you'll see on some photos this should be black which should go all the way down underneath here um, so it should have almost a, a black uh, lower quarter to this car um, which isn't a huge issue, it's um, quite a simple thing to fix or to solve. Um, nowhere near as bad like on the other car where the whole roof was the wrong colour. Um, but I personally think this looks stunning, so I'm not in a huge rush to change that, but I may do if the opportunity comes up. Um, uh, on the outside, it's obviously got these lovely Esprit badges which have all been replaced. Um, Esprit S2 there, look at that. World Constructors Constructors Championship. There you go. 
Good old Lotus, now from the back. Looks stunning with these huge rear lights on it. Personally, I think it would have looked really, really nice with four exhausts on it, two each side. But then I guess people may confuse it more with a Lamborghini or something like that if it, if it went that crazy. Um, maybe it would have been a bit too Italian, less of the classy British um, sports car slash supercar that this is. Um, inside, let's have a look inside. So this is totally original. As you can see, there's a little bit of wear in certain places, but very, very good considering it's, um, well, getting on now, 1979. Um, in here, we've got these leather seats. It's champagne interior, it's called. There's combinations. We've got these lovely leather seats, which, as I said, are original, um, which are on the list to be cleaned. Um, when I get a nice day to do it and uh, a little bit of time. This centre console, I think, is just stunning. I'm sure you'll agree. It's absolutely wonderful. And it's lovely to have a car where all the gauges work. Everything in here works beautifully, including the um, heaters, things like that. We've had them going and they do their job really, really well. Um, this wheel, as you'll probably notice, isn't an original S2 wheel. I've been told by a very good friend of mine um, and fellow owner of a car in gold like this, which you may have seen on my Instagram. This wheel is from a S3. So that'll be something that I'll be looking at replacing um, with an original wheel. Although they said the original wheels were slightly too big, which made for a um, little bit of an uncomfortable driving position. But, um, but uh, I'll see where I go. I'll always prefer to have something original, even if it does put you out a little bit. Um, still got the original radio in here, which works well. Um, so your chokes in the middle, you've got your window controls in the middle there as well. It's had new headlining, which is the only thing that has been replaced in here. And apart from that, it is an original interior, which I think oh, really looks stunning. Really won me over. And there you go, there's your little ashtrays down there and your speakers. Little holes for your speakers. Very Scandinavian, a lot of people have been telling me with this car. The interior of it looks very um, Scandinavian. Um, in here, we've got your fruit, which is very similar to that car, strangely enough. Obviously, this is a mid-engined car, so no engine in here. You've just got your spare wheel, your headlight motors, um, and a few other little bits and pieces in here. But as you can see, it's in gorgeous condition um, really really nice they've done an amazing job the previous owner of keeping um, all the originality in here so you've got your plate with all your body number chassis number engine number all things like that which all add up with this car and we've got a lovely certificate of provenance as well to go with it um, in here we've taken the battery out as you can see that's that's not a problem we're just charging it um, I'll give you a quick, a really quick show of the engine. There you go, there she is. Two litre, four cylinder. A little bit bigger than the old one that was in the plus two. Um, and obviously in a very different place. But um, running very well. We're having a few little issues with it, which I'll touch on on a later video. Um, but running very well, as you can see, it's. Had a lot of new parts in there, some nice new carbs, rebuilt carbs. Um, and a lot of money spent in that engine bay. Um, it does roar and it gets going. Um, let me just shut that for you. And obviously, I think it's a stunning looking thing, this car. A real supercar, how people can't call it a supercar. I will never truly know and it's got this huge huge pane of glass at the front that provides your windshield and these lovely angled windows in here and you've got your intakes down there um, you've got two of these um, fuel inserts so you've got one on this side one on that side I believe that was for the American market so when they made obviously cars for over there everything's on a different side so they didn't have to make two different models um, for them and us but 
yeah that's just been a very quick walk around of this car not hugely in depth i do understand that um but i just thought you guys would appreciate it um would appreciate some some new content um so all you guys who came over from james's channel or jm on cars i'd like to welcome you to cr classics and thank you for subscribing um, there are going to be lots more videos on this car and a few other cars that we've got around coming in the next few weeks i've got lots of big big things planned for this one um even in the next week there should be a couple of videos coming out about it um, sorry there's been a bit of a gap but we've been very very busy um, doing things to this um, and lots of other things going on in these crazy times that we're all experiencing at the moment um, and i hope all of you guys are well um, and i hope you're going to have a nice christmas um, however you can i know it's not ideal but um, keep your heads up and um, hopefully i'll provide a few minutes break from this um, this crazy crazy times that we're in at the moment um, and hopefully seeing things like this will make you smile um, i know it certainly makes me smile and it's a real dream come true and i still have no idea how this car's on this drive but we just got to roll with it and um, take whatever comes at you take whatever opportunity that um, that comes your way um, but thank you for watching guys and i will see you very soon this has been cr classics please like subscribe to this channel and make sure your notification bells turned on um, so you get alerted when i pop a new video up as well um, so thanks for watching it's been cr classics out <laughs>